get you guys a new vlog camera so you can finally stop letting me know that the light's bad or that it's buzzing. Yay! Let's see if I can figure out how to set this up. She's a little top heavy. Well, hi guys and welcome to the first vlog with my new equipment. I just wanna say thank you so much for the amazing response that I've already gotten for the YouTube channel. It makes me so excited to continue to do it and it's exactly the motivation that I needed because it's been really hard to jump into YouTube being a completely different platform and one that I feel like I know nothing about. But I'm really excited especially since I have you guys watching me and cheering me on. It makes everything that much better. Today, I'm gonna show you guys what our house looks like since we packed everything up. It's absolutely crazy and it makes me kind of emotional. It's pretty sad. I've loved this apartment. Okay, here is the living room. There is nothing in it but two lazy dogs and a mirror because I had to film an ad. My set is from Adenola, by the way. I'll link it below. Here's my little doggy, Remy. I'm gonna introduce you guys because you'll be seeing a lot of her. Say hi, baby. And then here is our other dog, Bentley. Bentley is six or seven and Remy is two and a half. People ask me, oh, do they like each other? They don't even acknowledge the other one exists, so no. The hallway is finally cleared out. Our artwork is off the walls. And this is what I have downsized to as far as what is coming with us to Once we get to our new place, I am so excited to start doing like get ready with me's and stuff because I know every time I do this hair wave thing, everybody asks questions about it and I would love to show you how I do it. Okay, anyways, for the rest of the day, I am going to me, a friend for coffee. Devin is filming a wedding. Luckily, it's very close. Um, he's like 30 minutes away and he just had to leave, so it was pretty nice. But I'm going to be meeting a friend for coffee and I don't know, I really just don't know yet. I like that. It's Saturday, so I'm gonna edit this ad really quick and we'll get back to chatting. on TikTok for the past three minutes. I'm about to get to work. <laughs> I'm crying. Listen to this. If you make TikToks and feel discouraged that it takes you so many times to get it right, please don't feel discouraged. Listen to this. Starting off with a comfy one. Comfy one. Comfy. Comfy one piece. Okay. So let's chat all things move, how I'm feeling, and what it's taken to get here. So my entire life, I've wanted to live somewhere else. Did I ever think I would actually end up anywhere else? I don't know, it's hard to say. Different seasons depicted what I thought about. Say maybe a year ago, well I guess when I was able to start doing this full time, we really got to thinking like, okay, now we could really move anywhere. Um, if you guys don't know, before I was a full-time influencer, I did hair and I loved it. I really, really, really loved it. Like, it is the second best job in the world, this being the first. And this has just opened up so much freedom to where I could work. I guess doing hair, I could work anywhere as well, but I was already so established. Like, I wasn't taking new clients. Like, I had my girls and I had them for four whole years and I just, I was fully booked. It was amazing. I loved them, I missed them, but this opened up for me. The Lord made a way for me to do this and oh, I just feel so grateful. And it's opened up so much freedom and possibility like I would never imagine. And I know that a lot of people hate influencers and I get it. I know that people hate that people do influencing or social media for a living but I think that when we feel that way, we really need to look inward and ask ourselves why we're feeling that way. Is it because we're unhappy with our lives and where we're at and we wish we could do that and whatever the case may be. Sorry, Remy. Whatever the case may be, I think we should really dig deep and not be so quick to project onto other people because I have worked a full-time job, a real job, and I never once looked at an influencer's life and was like, they don't deserve that. Uh, this is ridiculous. They need to go get a real job. Like that's just hateful and if you feel like that about people I feel really bad for you, but just know that I am so grateful for this job I want to be a good steward of it. I'm not going to be I'm not Jesus, but 
I will never stop saying how grateful I am for this job and I might not have it forever, but for the season that I do have it, I am thankful and I love it. Also, if you wonder why I'm only ever holding her, it's because only she ever wants to be held. Like she's always on top of me, bringing me a toy and Bentley doesn't move from his bed. The guts it has taken to move and where we're moving is insane. I cannot wait for you guys to see what we have planned. The place that we're moving this week, probably like tomorrow by the time this is up, is not the place that we're going to end up. But we know the place where we're going to end up and we are already looking there and it's so exciting just to kind of tentatively plan your life. Like you never know what it's going to look like and life can change on a dime. We know that but it's so fun to be one at the age where I'm finally married, we're able to buy a home or to move away and just create our own life, it is like undescribable. People say that they miss their childhood and they'd do anything to go back to being a kid. The whole time I was a kid, I was wishing to be an adult. And like, I, I was right, like it's so much better. And I hope that speaks to you too if you're going through a season of like an in-between season and you don't love where you're at right now things get better, they always get better. And even I'm gonna go through hard seasons in life, you know, and I have before. Life is just up and down, up and down. And the way to make the most of your life is just to be joyful and happy and just positive in every circumstance. Okay guys, I have officially hit 200K on TikTok and Instagram. What is life? That is crazy. Last year, this time, I probably had like 20K on just TikTok. Like, this is so incredible. And no, all 200K of those people have no idea who I am, but the ones who interact and are down for me, I'm down for you, thank you. Seriously, I do notice, and I hope that you guys notice that I try to interact with everybody as much as I can. It's starting to take a lot out of me mentally. It's starting to, to tax on me a little bit because people are just so negative, but it's part of the gig, and I'll take, I'll take the bad that comes with the mega good, like a movie. You guys are gonna let me know what you think about this camera. I, I don't know yet. And Devin edits these, so I won't know until it's done. My personal opinion, I think it's pretty good. Oh guys, I just filmed a keep or return TikTok on these shorts. I think they're getting a first class ticket back to wherever they came from. Um, I'm loving the big baggy denim jean shorts trend. I love it. Obviously, you guys can tell I'm gonna jump on, jump on that because everything I wear is like two sizes too big. But um, these look so cute in retrospect. Um, they're not the vibe for me. You're welcome to go look at the video if you want. Um, she's getting returned almost immediately. So now we have another thing on our to-do list today because tomorrow is Easter. The next day, we hit the road. Can't believe it. My life is changing. Also, you guys might be curious what camera I'm filming on. Completely forgot to mention that. So obviously me and everyone else in the world would love a Canon G7X, but I cannot find one. So she is the next best thing. So my husband has concluded from research i got a sony z zv e10 and apparently they're really comparable to the canon g7x i'm sure the g7x is still better but they're pretty good they they seem to do the job so at least it's going to be better than me doing it on my phone um because it's just so much to handle filming TikToks, Instagram, stories, keeping up with my emails and videoing on an iPhone. Like if I set it up like this, I'm not touching it for hours and I need to be able to be on my phone, you know? So it looks like it's doing good, but if you guys are super interested, then of course I'll let you know in a couple months what I think of it. I have a coffee meeting in 30 minutes. So before she gets here and before we leave, I'm gonna go ahead and go through all of my new Fabletic picks for the month and pick out which one I want to shoot in and just unbox everything before we leave.
So I thrifted these really adorable little unique authentic, yeah, they're authentically painted frames. And I love the prints, but they're not really my vibe. They're giving like vintage prairie and I don't think that's my vibe. Although they're very cute. I've been struggling to find out like, what is me? You know, like just because it's cute doesn't mean I should get it because it doesn't scream me in my personal style. So I'm gonna give these to the friend I'm meeting for coffee. I think they're her vibe. Okay guys, I am back from coffee with my friend. Also, I didn't show you any of it because one, I just feel like I'm the one who signed up to do social media. I wouldn't want to like subject other people to being on my social media, so I just don't feel the need. Uh, also, I had a message from a girl like last week and she, you know, was asking me a question basically about not having friends and while I know it may seem like that, I, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with not having friends, but I do have friends. I just, I'm private about it. I feel like there's so much that I do show about my life there's some things I just don't don't feel the need to put online. Like my social media is my life. It's not like their lives, you know. We have been saying goodbye to all of our friends, and it is a little bittersweet, but so excited. The excitement definitely outweighs the sorrow, and I know that we'll be back to visit, and I'm sure they'll be wherever we are to visit as well. So, okay, so now we are going to get started on a very early dinner. <coughs> We're gonna make a liner, if you will. It is my favorite meal. I make it at least once a week. This is the second time this week. It is so easy, you are going to be obsessed. I will link the recipe below because there's just so much that goes in it. I wouldn't, and I don't know the measurements of anything. I just follow my heart. You no, know, it is deceitful above all things. Guys, today just has me feeling so grateful for the finished work of Christ. Yesterday, my savior was crucified on a tree and he bore the weight of sin and shame, my sin and shame that he never deserved to pay. But he did it for me, he did it for you because he loves us and he desires a relationship with us and he didn't want heaven without us. So I'm just so thankful for the sacrifice of Jesus and our life is so futile without him. Sometimes you just gotta use canned garlic, you know? Cherry red sun-dried tomatoes. I'm try to have dinner and dessert ready for Devin when he gets home tonight. I don't know if I mentioned, I'm sure I did. He's shooting a wedding today, so he's gonna have a late night. He usually gets home about 11, 12 on wedding nights, but since this one's so close, I think he might be home a little earlier. Tomorrow we spend the night with Nana because we're gonna be completely moved out of here. And then Monday we hit the road at like 6 a.m. Can you believe it? And I don't wanna tell you how long it's gonna to take to get there, but it's a long time. We get organic, like non-hormone antibiotic added chicken from this local, well, they're not really local, they're far, but local farm. And oh my gosh, they're delicious. Look how big a chicken breast is. I mean, I just cut half of it off, but it's as big as my head. It's done. I cannot wait for you guys to see what this looks like. Oh, it's amazing looking and tasting. Oh, that hit me in the face. When in doubt, sleep it out. Just kidding, it's horrible advice. Look at how amazing this looks. Oh my gosh, I'm about to smash. Good evening, I hate to report. I have unfortunately been rotting for the past several hours. Everybody deserves a good rot sesh. I mean, look at my house. What is there to do? There's not a TV, there's nothing to really clean. I mean, I could do laundry. I'm gonna go do laundry. Anyways, um, Nana is about to come over and walk the dogs with me since Devin is shooting a wedding. And I think she just wants to see me. Just kidding, Nana, I know you watch these. I know you just wanted to come help with the dogs, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah. Okay, 
Now that the silent portion of my skincare is over with, I feel like me showing my skincare is going to be, what, let's fix this, shall we? Oh, we can just take it down now. But I feel like my skincare is going to be like a weekly part of the vlog because it's just my favorite part of the night and I really wind down. I'm a little disappointed in how lazy I was today. Didn't get a lot accomplished, but what can you do? Today is over. All we have is tomorrow. My husband should be getting off any moment. I'm waiting on him to call me. I think they just had their last dance. So that should be the last thing that he had to shoot. Well, and the send off, I guess. But it's 11.15. We'll see. This Alpha Red Clearing Serum. Also, I feel like starting YouTube my brain cells are like coming back. Doing social media is like TikTok. It's just so, so much. Like this, I'm actually thinking and it's just nice. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Okay, so I put on the Skin Better Trio Moisturizer and now I'm going to layer it with the Bare Faced Hydrating Lotion. These both are just like the bomb. I'm obsessed. I think that we're going to do something productive finally that's going to be good for my mental health instead of more scrolling on an endless loop of social media. We are going to read the Bible, just a little bit of it, and you're already here. You might as well join. I know that being in the day and age that we are, we so very easily, myself included, get caught up in just like the anxieties of the world and just negative thinking and just letting the negative people that sometimes surround themselves surround you and just if you do social media, the comments, just like miserable people. Easy to get consumed in that and not consume yourself in God because there's much more of evil um, in people than we see God, sadly. But I'm going to read you this. We're in Philippians 4. Rejoice. <laughs> Rejoice. Bad. Off to a bad start. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. That's pretty powerful. We all want that peace. Just the, the peace that doesn't make any sense. And I know we're all searching for it and we know where to find it, but it's really, really hard to get here sometimes. You have to fight your mind. Our minds make it out to be like reading the Bible is so hard and so difficult and it just takes so much time. No, it doesn't. Just tell yourself, you're lying. <laughs> you're a liar. You're, you're, your heart is deceitful above all things. Don't listen to it. It's so fast. Okay, I'm gonna finish the next, the next little chapter and then you should go read it for yourself. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, Think of these things. Don't think about the negatives and what could happen and this and that and what she has and what she said and what are we gonna do? If there's anything excellent, anything lovely, anything that deserves praise, think of those things. I have to tell you something monumental that happened today. I cannot believe I forgot to tell you. Bro, I was on the phone with my Nana today when I'm not kidding. Do you know who Haley Seinfeld is? You better. Have you seen Pitch Perfect? Have you seen Marvel? Haley Seinfeld, she's an icon. I just want you to click. Added your video to favorites. Okay. She added not one. Not one video. Two videos to favorites. Screaming, good night.